channel so I, <laughs> I'm looking a little weird right now. So today I'm really excited to be filming this video because we're doing something that I've never done on my channel before. Today we are doing the do's and don'ts of makeup. Basically we're going to be talking about makeup mistakes to avoid. And when I say do's and don'ts, I don't necessarily mean hey you there don't you ever do this makeup look mm -mm, don't do it you're not allowed because trust me i've done all of these mistakes myself whether i thought it looked good on me or i wanted to try a current trend and it turned out it didn't suit my face and obviously it's your face you can do whatever you want to your face and makeup is makeup when it comes to makeup there's really no rules when it comes to it this video is for those of you who are just maybe starting out with makeup for those of you who have no idea what to do when it comes to makeup these are just some of my tips and tricks i've learned throughout the years to, you know, create a more natural look. So please do not watch this video if you're easily offended by these types of video. Click out of the video, don't watch it. I'm not claiming to be a super pro makeup artist. That's not the case whatsoever. Again, these are just my personal tips and tricks I've learned throughout the years. All right, I'm gonna stop talking now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And without further ado, let's do this. So first things first for the do side is to prime the face. This will really help prep your skin and keep your makeup lasting all day. And for the don't side, well, not applying primer is what you shouldn't do because your makeup will not last as long and your foundation will not apply as smooth. For foundation, I know that sometimes it's really hard to find the right shade, especially if you're a beginner. But my tip here is to know your undertone, get familiar with it. So for me, I have yellow undertones. So when I go shopping for foundation, I always look at the colors that have yellow undertones in it. For the don't side, I'm applying a foundation that's way too dark for my face. This is a very common mistake. I used to do this myself all the time. It's always best to find one that suits your skin tone. Another tip for the don't side is to use a tool to buff out your foundation. I used to use my fingers a lot, but I find that using a tool such as the beauty blender really helps to buff out areas that your fingers can't do and you're not working twice as hard to blend it in, but if you're using a beauty blender, it pretty much does all the work for you. So for concealer, I like to bring the concealer all the way down and create a triangular shape and this will highlight and brighten the right spots on my face. And again, I'm using the beauty blender to blend out the concealer to prevent creasing and this will also help make it look as smooth as possible. For the don't side of my face, I'm applying the concealer directly underneath my eyes and by doing this, I feel like it's making my eye bags look so much worse and I also do not recommend using your fingers to blend this in because again you're only having to work twice as hard by doing it this way always use a beauty blender or a brush to blend it out so for days when I'm not baking my face I like to keep it simple I like to use a yellow based powder to set my concealer and foundation and this will help set my face and lock in the makeup I just applied and for the don't side not using a powder is a big no-no your makeup will be slipping and sliding if you skip this step for the bronzer I like to do this to bring color back to my face but I only apply it where I need it the most so that's my hairline cheekbones and my jawline for the don't side my tip is to not go too crazy with this it's definitely not a flattering look I know it's so easy to go crazy when applying the bronzer trust me I've been there myself but less is definitely more too much of this will make you look like you have a mask on or a helmet <laughs> so for the brows my tip for this one is to use a pencil especially if you're a beginner I find that I have better control when using a pencil to do my brows which gives it a more natural look for the don't side I'm using Cabrow from Benefit Cosmetics which is an amazing brow product but I find that it's very hard to control this because of the cream gel formula it's very easy to overline the brows when it comes to products like this so just keep that in mind for the blush I like to apply a little bit of this to my cheeks and just really take my time with it again this is another thing that can go easily out of hand so it's best to start slow and then work your way to it. For the don't side, just don't go too crazy. This is another very common mistake. I used to go crazy with my blush back in the day. So again, just start light. Less is definitely more. For the highlight, same thing as the blush. Don't go too overboard. I struggle with this myself till now. It's an everyday struggle for me not to overdo my highlight, but just keep it light so that it gives you a more natural looking finish. Moving on to the liner, my tip for this one is to use a felt tip liner. This will give you better control especially if you're trying to achieve a cat eye look avoid using gel liners especially if you're a beginner because those are much more harder to control
control and they're not as forgiving as felt tip liners. I also do not recommend going too thick with the liner. I find that it closes up my eyes when I do this and it's just it's just not flattering whatsoever. For the waterline, I always opt for a brown liner which gives it a more softer look versus using a black liner. Using a black liner just makes it look way too intense especially if you're going for a more natural looking makeup look. For the lips, my tip is to not over apply or not to overline. I'm not a big lip liner myself but when I do use it, I always find myself overlining too much so I definitely know the struggle so just keep in mind that again less is more and keep it natural looking and that is it you guys we are all done and here is some awkward poses because <laughs> i know you love it i know you do video thank you so much for watching be sure to give it a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it come on give it a big thumbs up be sure to come back in a few days for a brand new video and that is officially it i love you have an amazing day and i'll see you soon all right so we are ready